First off, the Pacific Ocean is vast and covers a significant portion of the Earth's surface. Imagine this. The Pacific is so large that it is more expansive than all the Earth's landmass combined. Its sheer size presents a formidable challenge to aviation. One key challenge comes from the ocean's expanse, which requires long stretches of flight over water. This poses a unique set of difficulties. For instance, flights over land allow for more options when it comes to emergency landings, while the open ocean provides far fewer alternatives. Additionally, the ocean's immense size can lead to a sense of isolation for pilots and passengers alike. Despite the advancements in aviation technology, human factors can still come into play. The psychological impact of flying for hours over endless water cannot be underestimated. Given these considerations, it's no surprise that pilots often choose alternate routes to avoid prolonged overwater flights due to the sheer distance and potential challenges like limited emergency landing options. One factor influencing flight paths is the concept of great circle routes. This fascinating principle is the shortest possible path between two points on a sphere, and it's a significant factor when we talk about long-distance travel like transoceanic flights. So let's dive right into it. Picture the Earth as a giant sphere. When airlines plan their routes, they're not looking at a flat map, but rather a spherical one. This means that the shortest distance isn't a straight line on the map, but a curve that follows the Earth's surface, known as a great circle route. Airlines use these routes to optimize two key elements, fuel efficiency and travel time. By following the Earth's curvature, they can minimize the distance flown thereby saving fuel and getting passengers to their destinations more quickly. Although some flights do cross the Pacific, many opt for routes that pass over land masses, saving fuel and reducing travel time. This concept is one of the many reasons why planes do not always fly directly across the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is notorious for its unpredictable weather patterns, including powerful storms and turbulence. This vast body of water stretching across a significant portion of the globe is a hotbed for meteorological phenomena. Imagine a cauldron of climatic activity with swirling typhoons, rapid wind changes, and sudden turbulence. These elements can present real challenges for aircraft, affecting both flight stability and passenger comfort. In the world of aviation, safety is paramount. It is the North Star that guides every decision, every flight plan, every route. Consequently, airlines and pilots often have to make strategic choices about their paths across the skies. They may choose to avoid the Pacific Ocean's tempestuous weather, opting instead for routes with more stable meteorological conditions. These can include areas with predictable wind patterns, less severe storm activity, and generally smoother atmospheric conditions. These choices are all part of the intricate dance between aviation and weather, a delicate balance aimed at ensuring a smoother and safer journey for passengers and crew. Airlines prioritize safety and pilots may choose routes with more stable weather conditions to ensure a smoother and safer journey for passengers and crew. Another critical aspect is the limited availability of emergency diversion airports over the vast Pacific. This vast expanse of water poses a unique challenge for aviation. Imagine you're a pilot cruising at 35,000 feet and suddenly there's an emergency. Your first instinct is to land the plane safely, but where? Over land, you'd have several options, but over the Pacific, you're often hundreds, if not thousands of miles away from the nearest runway. This is why the availability of emergency diversion airports is so crucial. They act as safety nets, enabling pilots to land their aircraft safely in case of emergencies. However, the Pacific Ocean's sheer size means these airports are few and far between. This scarcity significantly impacts flight planning. Pilots must painstakingly chart their course to ensure they're never too far from a suitable landing site. So, the lack of diversion airports over the Pacific isn't just a logistical headache, it's a matter of safety. Pilots often plan routes that keep them within reach of suitable landing sites. Let's talk about ETOPS or extended range twin engine operational performance standards. This set of regulations plays a pivotal role in determining the flight paths of aircraft, especially over the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. 
The essence of ETOPS lies in its focus on the maximum distance an aircraft can fly from a suitable diversion airport. In other words, it's all about keeping planes within a safe flying range of a potential emergency landing spot. This becomes particularly significant when we're dealing with the Pacific Ocean, where diversion airports are few and far between. Naturally, airlines are compelled to take ETOPS into account when plotting their routes. Modern aircraft, while technologically advanced and more than capable of long-haul flights over open water, are still bound by these regulations. And that's why, while modern aircraft are equipped for long overwater flights, airlines still consider ETOPS limitations when planning routes over the Pacific. In conclusion, the decision for planes to avoid the Pacific Ocean involves a combination of factors. We've delved into the vastness of the Pacific Ocean, a formidable expanse that poses unique challenges for pilots. We've navigated the concept of great circle routes, understanding how airlines opt for fuel-efficient paths often over land masses. We've weathered the unpredictable weather patterns of the Pacific, notorious for its powerful storms and turbulence. We've touched down on the reality of limited emergency diversion airports over this vast ocean, a critical factor in route planning. And finally, we've explored ETOPS, the regulations that govern the distance an aircraft can fly from a diversion airport. All these elements intertwine, each playing a pivotal role in the intricate dance of flight planning. Safety and efficiency remain top priorities for airlines, shaping the flight paths we see today.